are methods to determine position, presentation, and engagement of fetus. It was named after Christian Gerhard Leopold, a German obstetrician. Performance checklist on Leopold's maneuver. Follow the principles. Utilizes correct body mechanics. Makes no unnecessary exposure of the client's body and proceeds in an orderly manner. Preparatory phase. Explain the procedure to the patient. Ask the mother to empty the bladder. Warm hands and apply them to mother's abdomen with firm and gentle pressure. First maneuver, also known as the fundal grip. Stand facing the head part of the client. Palpate's upper abdomen by placing both palms on either side of the upper abdomen. Identifies correctly the fetal parts. Second maneuver, also known as the umbilical grip. Puts both hands on either side of the abdomen, applying gentle but deep pressure. Holds one side of the abdomen steady. Gradually palpates opposite side from top to the lower segment of the abdomen to feel the fetal outline with slightly circular motion. Repeats the same pressure on the opposite side. Identifies fetal parts correctly. Third maneuver, also known as the Paulix grip. With the right hand, grasp the lower portion of the abdomen between both hands. Identifies fetal parts correctly. Fourth maneuver, also known as the pelvic grip. Facing the client's thigh, puts palm on the sides of the abdomen, just above the inguinal ligament, grasping snugly the lower abdomen with fingers meeting below the lower abdomen and outstretched thumbs Meeting at the umbilical level. Identifies correctly the degree of flexion, position, and station of the presenting part. Checks fetal heart tone on the correct side. Wash hands after the procedure and records the procedure done. Receives the newborn from the doctor. Place the newborn on the crib with the head lower than the body. By gravity, it will drain the secretion. Suction the newborn's mouth and nose and do the one minute off guard. 
upper scoring is done during the first one minute and five minutes of life. The heart rate, the respiration rate, muscle tone, reflex, irritability, and the color are evaluated in infant. Upper score is the baseline for all future observation. But with the lukewarm look water are clean with baby oil. Dries the newborn with a bath towel, then keep warm by using drop light at least 12 to 24 inches away. Performs again the upgar scoring post 5 minutes. Weighs the newborn. Removes use gloves. Cord dressing. Disinfect the cord three times starting from the base going out using sterile water. Applies cord clump 1 inch to 1.5 inches above the base. Cut the cord immediately above the clump. Applies cord clump 1 inch to 1.5 inches above the base. Cut the cord immediately above the clump. Hold cord clump with one hand, then disinfect. Quick measurement. Measures the newborn's head the chest, abdominal circumference, and the length using the tape measure. Check temperature using rectal thermometer. Inject vitamin K on the left outer middle third thigh, which is the vastus lateralis muscle. Again, inject hepatitis B vaccine on the right thigh outer middle third, which is the vastus lateralis muscle. Applies the bracelet or the identification band form. Applies ophthalmic ointment from inner to outer canthus.
Bill's The Newborn's Name Card. Bill's The Newborn Name Card. Transfer the newborn to the nursery, then place in the crib in trendling bird position. Batting of newborn. Bring the infant to the batting area when all supplies are ready. Never leave the infant on bath table or in water, nor even for a second. If you have to leave, take the infant with you or put back in the crib. Test the temperature of the water. It should be pleasantly warm to the inner wrist or elbow with a temperature of 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. Do not Hold the infant under running water. Wrap a towel around the baby's neck by crossing the first towel over one side of the body and across on the other side so that they are in a cocoon. With their arms tucked in so the whole body is snug. Clean the face. Use clean face cloth or cotton wool and dampen it in the water. Clean the baby's eyes by wiping each one with a clean cloth. Or clean the corner of the same cloth. Start near the nose and wipe outward. No soap is needed. Cradle the head with one hand, placing the baby's back along the forearm. And tap their legs underneath your elbow. Hold the baby like you would hold a football. Wash the scalp with water and mild soap. Add small amount of baby soap to the water or wash cloth and gently bat the rest of the body from neck down. Uncover one area at a time. Rinse with a clean wash cloth or a small cup of water. Then soak and pat, pat dry. Turn the baby on the right arm to wash their back and buttocks. Then after, rinse. Then wrap the towel and dry thoroughly by packing it gently. Cleanses the ear and nose and twist of moistened cloth. On the corner of wash clothes. Dressing immediately the baby after a